Hi guys, this is Alfonso again from AXM and now we're going to um, talk about how to install the inner parts of the nose cone. Here I have a prototype of the paper colored version of the um, Starship and uh, um, as you can see the inside this five segment ring which is seen on um, Starship 8 and Starship 9 um, has this interior skin and if you could see all the way down there is a, a, a tank that's the header tank and that big pipe it comes from the header tank now the darker rings all the way at the bottom and my first um, a version that I released it was uh, pretty difficult to insert those those rings one by one obviously if you want to do that and that has to be done when the nose cone is complete and before you attach the five ring five ring segment but now I uh, modified it and um, it will be much easier to to make the um, the inner section of the uh, the inner skin of the nose cone here I'm going to show you what is the, modi the modification that I I did I just added new triangular tabs here on these two rings the original ones lack those tabs but now it would be much easier just to connect them and uh, that way all three rings will be connected and as a whole there will be it could be easily inserted inside the nose cone all right so if you can check the pdf this is the diagram actually of the inside of the nose cone and in red the outline of the interior uh, rings in red here is the he the header tank in blue and the pipe that extends from the bottom of the header tank all the way down to the um, uh, five segment uh, um, stack of the nose cone. So here it is. Here's a header tank. It's very easy to, um, it's very straightforward to build it. It's a base, it's made up of a lot of rings. Just put them together. And how this goes, use the first, the top ring. Be sure to um, bend these teeth inward. Just insert it, do not push, do not force. And part of the header tank is going to stick out, just like the diagram shows. So we're going to put glue and we're going to uh, glue the header tank on this ring first, okay? Let's do that. So, it's actually on this area. So we need to apply glue. And you just, we're just gonna drop it just like that. Be sure it's well centered. And that's how it is. We're gonna let it glue, let it dry. And then after all this is dry, we're going to 
connect with the next ring. Okay. Okay. Our next step is to bend all these tabs inward in order for this ring to just slide in and um, we're going to match the seam lines of both rings okay so we're going to apply glue on the outside of the ring of this second ring not on the triangular tabs we're going to apply here it's just regular Elmer's glue and with the tip of the bottle just smear the glue on a thin film of glue all right okay we're going to center the seam line this seam line with this seam line Just like that, all right, and then we're going to press the, the tabs on the outside. It fits quite well. All right. There. Yeah. And this is how it looks from the outside. The rings are well glued. We just have to keep pressing until both um, until you close all the gaps as much as possible. So far, so good. We're gonna do the same thing with the other final ring. And I already have um, bent these uh, other tabs. I'm just going to let it dry and ready to glue the next ring. All right. Once it's done, you have the idea now. This will be inserted very easily inside the nose cone. All right. Let's continue. So now. We're going to add glue on the outside of the last ring. Same steps. All right. Seam line on seam line. Let's try to center it. So the tabs have to be on the outside. All right, there it is. Very good. And just try pushing it and align the two rings little by little. Okay, 
and it is just a matter now of uh, pressing the tabs on the outside making sure that the rings are well connected no major gaps still it's gonna be it's gonna look much better than the original version without the tabs all right so it's like building a new nose cone an easier one Okay, here it is. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. And then to install the pipe that it's here that comes from the header tank will be added at the end. Alright. I'm just gonna let it dry a little bit more before gluing it on the inside and it will just be a matter of gluing just a bit adding glue on certain areas especially on this because this will be covering part of the uh, inside of the uh, skin that it's inside of the five ring segment so here I have my metallic uh, nose cone model and as you can see it lacks the nose the interior skin of the nose cone so this will just go all the way in all right we're going to apply glue here Especially on on this side where the header tank is showing around here we can apply glue and then we're gonna apply glue on this area never mind adding glue on the other side on, on, on the rest just concentrate on glue here all right See, we're there, and I'll just insert it. Just try pushing it all the way down, all the way in, all the way in. Let's see. Oh, yeah. perfect so there you go a much easier way to add the interior skin of the nose cone all right now it will just be a matter of adding this to the pipe we got a there's a 90 degree bend here we're gonna apply glue right here on the tip and um, because this follows the the curvature of the inside of the nose cone 
you might as well as uh, you know curve it a little bit right there so we're gonna apply glue just a little bit here on the on the very tip there and okay Very good. Now there is um, an orientation how this goes. If you can see this prototype model, the hinge, look how it's facing the hinge. So if you, from looking at this side, that means that this is, if the hinge is here, this is going to be the uh, the umbilical segment if you move it up you could see that the pipe is going on the belly side all right so let's do that orient yourself again with the model here is the umbilical side because I have a hinge here so I'm going to be gluing it this way on the belly side. I'm going to move it away from the camera so I can see how am I going to insert it. Try to, uh, you, you're going to touch the tip of the base of the header tank. And with a little rod, you can assist yourself. And glue in it right there. Don't worry if it sticks out a little bit. It is going to be hidden. So, you could see now. So, I have glued on what is the belly side of the nose cone. Because remember, the hinges are this way. This would be the umbilical side if you move it if you have to if you want to see it from the inside the pipe goes on the belly side all right so that's it on our next video we're going to show how we connect this to the rest of the body thank you